Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome to a very special Uta Macross video. So today, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's version 2.00. Uh, finally, we have the brand new updates to the game itself and 6 lane gameplay is now a thing, Valkyrie Operation is also now a thing and of course Kiawawa rank uh, to level up your costumes is also now a thing. Everything that was mentioned in the Utah Macross SP broadcast some time ago is now live. So that's fantastic news. So today's video is basically a, just a brief look through. Uh, I will do full breakdowns on the um, I say gameplay uh, brand new gameplay that has been implemented um, once I've gotten the chance to fully study the uh, content but as of now okay if you take a look at the notices um, the black one especially that says uh, others okay so if <laughs> you're, you're if you're a person like me who has not pulled the previous uh, beginner Gacha that uses 300 singing stones. Well, basically, with the version 2.00 update, uh, they have refreshed that gacha. So, uh, <laughs> I I have missed out the chance of getting a confirm, um, yeah, uh, confirm five star plate. So I I think I'm okay with it. Um, plus, there is a whole bunch of um. Singing stones that will be given out right now. Then of course, welcome to Valkyrie World. If you're old player, welcome to Valkyrie World is not a new plate. It is the first episode plate that's given to you when you play Utha Macross. And now we are finally getting our third copy. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. So there is no banner or information on this in the tweeters uh, for Utha Macross. So yeah, just take note. So from the 27th, uh, ever since the implementation of version 2.00, which was a few hours ago, we will be getting a total of 450 singing stones as gifts uh, as long as you log in every day. So make sure you do that. Alright guys, so that's the first part of the brand new content. Um, I know it's not notified here, uh, except for this, the banner for the beginner gacha. So yeah. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to collect my singing stones uh, in the box here. Alright, so 450. I'm definitely going to use it now. Because um, unless you're the kind that wants to save up, the, um, I would highly recommend saving up for the gacha that's coming after the reissuing gacha. Um, that's coming soon. Um, especially since... The new event will feature the 6 lane gameplay. So as you can see, Miss Macross is next. There is no major event till after the uh, live broadcast at Akihabara UDX Vision um, on the 29th of August 2018. So right now, the gachas that we have is basically this. And oh, the, apparently the banner the banner for the reissuing gacha for um, <laughs> Freya's costumes is missing. So guys, uh, I'm not too sure why the banner is gone. Uh, maybe there's some kind of error. Um, but yeah, if you want to save up your singing stones, I will highly recommend saving up the 450 singing stones um, uh, for the next event's gacha. Uh, which might probably be good job uh, for my cross frontier fans. You would definitely know what that is. It was showcased in the Tokyo Sky Tree event uh, some time ago, and probably from the looks of it itself, it, it might come to the game. Uh, yeah, as a promotional piece for the upcoming sale of the music CD, the single. Um, for good job and uh, gorgeous for Sharon Uh Yeah, so look forward to that. Anyway guys, let's talk about the brand new stuff within the game itself. So the main three things that they have mentioned in the uh, maintenance update is basically the three gameplay that is added. So we have Valkyrie Operation Mode. So I noticed that this mode does not unlock uh, immediately on the new accounts for Utah Macross. I so I don't know what level you actually need. 
Hello, Ray Ray. <laughs> uh, I don't know what level you actually need to actually have this mode unlocked for you, uh, especially if you're a brand new player. So anyway, guys, here we have say as shown uh, on the Full Time Across SP broadcast. So basically, this is the episode. Um, you can actually press the question mark here. It will actually explain to you what they are. So the skulls are basically the difficulty. Then, of course, the image showcases the series that it comes from. Okay, the items here are considered the normal rewards. Yeah, and they are confirmed. So confirm rewards. Then of course we have the random rare item. So they will they will show you uh like a blurred out image that showcases an item that you might get from its rare drops. And of course the duration period that is needed to complete this Valkyrie operation. All right. So down here there is more indication. Um of course um the pilots. Uh, combat capabilities is important here in the Valkyrie operation mode so we're gonna talk about that later on uh, let's just dive in straight away to Valkyrie operation uh, let's just do a rough look so yeah so you from the daily missions for Valkyrie operation you can actually gain episode plates as well so that's fantastic so exclusive episode plates um, oops I've totally forgot about the notifications. Just give me a sec guys, I'm gonna turn off the notifications. Alright guys, so I finally turned off the notifications and let's continue. So yeah, just take a look at all the stuff that can be obtained from these very missions. So they have the daily ones. Uh, and they have the weekly ones. Wow, they have week daily and weekly missions. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. So... Alright, you can have various teams of Valkyries set up, but I think you need to have certain levels to unlock it because right now, as of what I have, um, let's see, I, I have a few missions here. These take 10 minutes if I'm not wrong. So let's, let's do this. Um, hopefully by the time we end this video, I should be able to do it. Uh, clear it. So yeah, uh, as you can see, they have various um, slots for you to set up teams of Valkyries so they have requirements here for you to unlock the slots so this one you need to clear the debut operation uh, all the missions so all the missions basically under Valkyrie operations you need to clear then of course this one also same thing Valkyrie operation missions cleared everything and of course having what Valkyrie I'm not too sure what yeah, so I think you need to have a certain amount of Valkyries unlocked. Then you can have these slots available. And if you tap this, there's a shortcut here that shows you all the items that you have in your uh, inventory right now. Of course, there is the new selected items as well with the items for the um, upgrading of the costumes. Then of course, you have your... Uh, life at the here and of course if you want to know what the items do they have the description here in Japanese um, I won't break them down right now um, because uh, it, this is just a basically a rough run through uh, of what um, the new update is I will do a more detailed version of videos uh, in the upcoming days so look out for those videos guys and of course all the different Kawawa dolls <laughs> of the characters have finally been released uh, initially, we were shown uh, just Freya alone. Yeah, so adorable. Why is Ranka the only one with the drooping ears? <laughs> so the rest of the characters all have raised ears. Only Ranka has drooping ears. That's, that's just cute. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to select the team here. As you can see, I've selected the leader as Arad um, from Macross Delta because apparently... Yeah... Series bonus? Oh, okay, so if you have Valkyries from that series, it helps give you bonuses. Ah, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to select Hikaru. Um, then I'm going to put in who else, who else is there. Uh, I'm going to have Media. I'm probably Max as well. Where is Max? There we go. So all three planes from Macross. Uh, Chojiku Yosai Macross. Um, so basically your Super Dimension. Fortress Macross. Uh, yeah, so 
Okay, so I think this obliterates the entire selection, so yeah, there we go. So do not press the blue button if you do not want to deselect your entire Valkyrie team. Uh, so yeah, this, let's just go through that again. Alright, so here we go. So this is basically the basic requirements for the mission, so you need at least 200 attack points, uh, 180 life points. You know, but because you have three different Valkyries available, um, yeah, the the stats for the Valkyrie or the pilots accumulate together. So definitely, and of course, instead of the ten minute, they reduced it to twenty. Uh, sorry, um, reduced it to five minutes because of the series bonus on the Valkyrie. So that's pretty important to take note, guys. Um, having the specific planes, um, for the mission is pretty important if you want to reduce that wait time so yeah uh, okay so I'm gonna send these guys out um, there doesn't seem to be a requirement for items um, to send planes on out on mission so yeah you can just tap on the plane to change the mode of course the different modes that you send the, uh, the Valkyries out um, will give you different kinds of items like uh, mentioned in the SP breakdown video so it's always important to take note of what items you need. So right now, I have pretty much maxed out most of the items here. I do need yellow though, so I, I definitely might go with this one instead. So I'm going to go with the uh, gear, uh, gear walk mode and then send out my uh, team for this mission. So here we go. I'm just sending out my, uh, my cross first generation team. Now of course you can see the timer is running down. If you tap on it, you can actually complete the mission straight away um, by using an item okay if you're wondering what the item is um, it's this one this cow looking hacker item that Reyna uses so basically if you obtain this item you can reduce the um, countdown time immediately to zero and complete the mission straight away uh, yeah so you can I think you can actually do multiple missions no you can't so you can only do one mission at one time, so that's that's pretty interesting. Then of course, there since it's a debut set of missions, there's eight missions in total to complete before you unlock the standard missions that has the daily and weekly stuff. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for um, Valkyrie Operation as of now that I can see. Until I unlock the standard stuff, then we will do the breakdown video for Valkyrie Operation. Okay, right. so I forgot to record the part <laughs> about completing the um, Valkyrie Operation mission. So here we are at the very last mission for debut. And yeah, let's complete this and see what is brand new to the content of missions after debut. So here we go. So as you can see, this is the standard completion uh, image. It's not the super great uh, finish, but it's fine. Okay, so we've gotten another free episode played. Uh, don't need those low ranking ones because they only give one point uh, on whatever costume or Valkyrie they unlock. Uh, Alright, so here we go, completing debut missions. Wing! What's this? Ooh, so completing debut missions, you unlock um, the Messiah VF25A. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess the Mac fans for the Macross series would definitely love this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice to have a new Valkyrie that isn't really a debut. Uh, not really a debut, more like um, there isn't a main character Valkyrie. So I guess that's pretty awesome. So there we go, we've unlocked, I guess, all the other slots for the um, Valkyrie operations. There we go, so they remind us again what you can do. Okay, so these are the standard missions, so we have 24 minutes to clear. Oh god, I have 24 minutes to clear all these daily missions. Um, I guess we can do the ones that has the um, boxes. So. I guess I have to use the items to clear the missions now because there's only 24 minutes. <laughs> so guys, uh, alright, so I'm gonna do this, uh, my cross frontier, I have my, my cross frontier set up right now, so let's do this. Um, okay, I need yellow more, so it takes half an hour, 
So definitely I need to use the items, the hacker items to complete the missions because um, due to recording purposes, I am not able to do this quickly. So yeah. I wonder if there's actually any missions that require... Let's take a look at the mission section for now. Um, let's see. Let's see if there is any daily missions that actually require you to clear. Uh, so I don't think they have implemented anything new yet. If if in the future some daily missions require you to clear Valkyrie Operation missions, that will be one heck of a problem. <laughs> uh, especially for those who don't play um, very seriously. So let's dive back in again Valkyrie Operation. Um, previously due to the debut missions, you are only able to clear one mission at a time. Now you can do five at one time. So I guess that's pretty awesome. So let's do five at one time. So I guess that's why you need multiple teams so i've unlocked all of them so all right so let's do this macross 7 uh so yeah with, without gumlin that's kind of a, a bummer especially if i want to do like each slot one generation of macross so i guess i had to slot in as usual another valkyrie uh Mesa is definitely not maybe the best i guess uh, i think i think durando is actually better Oh dear lot, the, the VF29 is actually pretty bad in stats. <laughs> okay, so if you are using the Valkyrie, it will show that it's it's on a mission and you can't use it. So yeah, there goes my choice of using the Durandal. Um, okay, so let's just use Messer. It's selected. Um, yeah, let's do this very quickly. Um, yeah, I need yellow, so here we go. Okay, so I have two on go. I, I definitely want to get everything that has the episode plates because episode plates are very crucial. I don't really need in-game currency at this point of time. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so here's a strategic tip. So, it is a Macross 7 mission. Um, all, actually, all you have to do is have one of the Valkyries from the series in the team and you will gain that time deduction bonus. So... Yeah, so it wasn't a really smart choice to have um, all my Valkyries from my Cross 7 head out. Um, so I guess, yeah, um, I'm gonna do the item. So, do not tap this though. This is to cancel the mission. So it will ask you to cancel or not, so don't tap that. So I'm gonna tap this to use up the item to complete the mission straight away. Um, just for the sake of uh, showcasing it, I guess. So there we go, I have to do this as well, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to use all three. So let's clear this mission. And get back my Valkyries to send it out again. Okay, here we go, we have the great success. Oh, we have two episode plates! Ooh, does this... Does this have Gumlin's points inside? <laughs> We're gonna check again later anyway, guys. Um... Yeah, there we go. Let's clear the next one. So, a bit of tips and tricks uh, spotted just from clearing all these missions, I guess. Um, it would be definitely better for you guys to um, clear the missions. Oh, so I guess I managed to get... Uh, okay, so we do have specific character missions for Valkyrie operations. Do we? So, let's take a look. There is the Utahime uh, missions as well, but hmm. Oh, so you have to play certain songs to have the Utahime Operation mission um, unlocked. So hmm, I guess maybe it's something to do with the six lanes. Um, we have to find out later on. Um, so yeah, then. We have some awesome weekly missions as well. Wow, they require three hours. I guess I guess you could have a few slots for the dailies, maybe like two slots for dailies. Since there's only like five missions for dailies. Um, then of course clear up the weekly ones with um, the remaining slots available. However you wish to play it, I don't know. So let's do this. We have only 19 minutes left for the dailies. Um, okay, so my cross 7, I'm gonna have to swap out Duranda with uh, Basara's Fire Bulk. Okay, so yeah, there we go. 
um, just need to... Actually, it would be better to have all the Valkyries from the same series um, because of the... Let's see, there is this um, Daiseiko, so it's a great success, completion. So yeah, it would actually be better if you can have them all from the same generation. But it, you know, to play smart, um, to speed things up, to complete all the missions as quickly as possible, um, it would be beneficial to just have one um, so you can cut down the wait time and all that kind of things plus I don't know so if you have if you are a very um, I'll say if you are a player that really um, focuses on Ultra Macross only um, I think ha having a focus of the entire team from the generation itself is pretty um, smart way to play I guess but if you're the kind of person who doesn't have a lot of focus or attention to a particular game, I think doing that style of play isn't actually a very good um, progression. Um, so yeah, play, play it the way you feel comfortable with um, and of course play it smartly. Alright, so there we go. I think, I think with all the debut missions being cleared, uh, I should have um, I should have my um, let's see oh there is a 12 hour mission here so definitely I'm gonna clear this I should have my costume rank up um, open to me right now so let's see I have my cross frontier I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have uh, Alto standard BF um, yeah there's a lot of planes from frontier though so let's just make use of them so these are the best three. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So even with the time reduction, it is still 11 hours and 49 minutes. So that's almost half a day gone. Um, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, so changing the mode, I do not hit the requirements. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay, so I guess I have to do the standard fighter. Yeah, so your Valkyrie stats definitely come into play right there. Um, it's very, it's the highest difficulty so far, I guess. Um, plus, the rewards are fantastic since it gives the large item, the cross stone, large size for the costume unlock. Alright, speaking of costume unlock, let's go take a look at the Kiawa rank. I think I should have it unlocked. Well, Kaname is telling me that it's unlocked already. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna have some basic tutorials on the Kiawa ranking. Yes, first looks at it. Alright, so here we go. We have the costume. Then we're going to talk about how you can power up your costume. So, of course, using the uh, stones that we've got from the Valkyrie operation to power up your costumes. Um, yeah, so they do increase like the stats for the costumes. And of course, oh, finally, I think they finally added a different use for the um, items for the. Diva uh, proficiency, or the Diva affection, sorry. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. So, increase of stats. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, oh, okay. So, it does boost the Divas. Oh, hello, Makina. So, you can actually tap the Divas here, <laughs> and they'll do the same thing as on the main screen. Okay, so I these are all the costumes that I have unlocked. So you can actually uh, arrange it according to Diva. I'm gonna go with Rankas first. Haha! -ha. <laughs> so yeah, you can use this blue button to sort um, which Diva you want to focus on. So, oh dear, there is only a few costumes that you can actually power up. I wonder why. So okay, so here we go. If you power up, they give you different stats. So the first star will give you a stat up on Ranka. They will give you a life plus 10. So it's very um, crucial to take note of what you're powering up. So only at the 4 star will it change colour. Why is it white? It's so strange. I'm so not used to it. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of them. Um, any of them looks nicer. Okay, this one doesn't have a colour change though. But it does give you... Uh, yeah. So I didn't know this thing had a name. 
キモカワグズ。キモカワグズ。No, this is not the name of the item though.、Um, I didn't know Ranka's handphone frog thingy had a name. I, I don't really remember the name. I, the, I, I was talking with some Japanese fans and they did mention that it had a name. So, hmm. Okay, so this color then didn't, doesn't have a, the color change as well. So it's only Seikan Hiko that actually.、Uh, Ranka Seikan Hiko actually have. Whoa, so plus 100. <laughs> We'll have、um, color change. So I guess, I guess we could do this.、Um, let's do this. So. Power up. I have 11 small ones from the Valkyrie operations though. So, so even with 11, it's not enough.、Um, so, it is very crucial to know、um, which costume you want to power up、um, because they do give stats、um, bonuses for each costume's power up. So, choose wisely, especially、um, when it comes to professional playing、uh, as a hardcore player. It is definitely、uh, advisable for you to choose accordingly. And I won't power up right now because, let's say, for example, an event needs a particular stat increase,、uh, especially for high score events. And that character that you have used in your team、um, for high score purposes,、um, they have that costume available for. High score boosting as well. You might want to do a last minute boost on that costume to gain that special stats. So I'm gonna keep all my、um, stones for the、um, power up of the costumes for now. Anyway, guys, this is just a simple look at the costume build or Kawawa rank、uh, system、um, for the Divas costume. So apparently, I'm not sure why the rest of the costumes are not in here. Only selected costumes are available for powering up at of this time. So, guys, do choose wisely on what you want to power up. Even though, yes, you want to see the costumes in the alternate color、uh, variations, but sometimes、um, it's better to just hold out until、um, the actual use for the costumes. Uh, main purposes in gameplay itself if you are a hardcore player. So, guys,、um, yeah, that's all I have to say about costume build. Let's continue on with the pre recorded content、uh, that I have、um, stored away. Okay, guys, so while I was playing some of the lives、um, because of the daily refresh, so I had to clear the event songs、um, for the free singing stones and all that.、Uh, When I full combo the song, perfect full combo or full combo, they notified me there was a brand new mission under the Valkyrie operation system. And do note, these missions have a timer to, for you to clear. So you have within this time limit to clear this mission, yeah,、uh, before it disappears. So, of course, these missions give you some of the rare stuff like the、uh, Kawawa dolls and all that, and plus they are under the Diva specified missions, so guys,、um, do take note of this、um, before you decide to play a live or、um, you, before you spend up all your entire slots for mission use.、Uh, luckily, I have just one that's cleared, so I'm gonna use this slot for the、um, time, I would say, time period、uh, missions. So, yeah, there you go. So, every time you clear a Valkyrie operation, apparently they give you five singing stones. So, I'm gonna use this chance to clear. So, because I don't know, I don't know if、uh, you can actually use my cross delta planes. Oh, yeah, they do have the series bonus. So, okay, I'm gonna have Chuck in the position here because I don't think I have、um, any more planes available, although I do have、uh, Mirage. so... I do have the rest of them as well, so I'm gonna have Ara and as well. So we're gonna clear this mission. There we go. Okay. Alright, guys, so that's pretty much the last information for Valkyrie Operation, I suppose.、Um, on just a brief look that we have 
uh, currently going through the brand new update. So yeah, pay note, at pay close attention to all these missions that have the specific timing for you to actually begin the mission. So as you see, once I've begun a mission, the timer disappears, and it's only left with the completion timer on the mission itself, guys. So pay close attention to such missions because you don't want to end up missing out on these missions that have these very rare items um, that you can obtain from them. And now back again to the actual content of this video. Interesting thing that um, you might not have noticed in the update itself. So if you tap your friends icon, um, you might have noticed, oh wait, they increased the amount of friend slots. Yes, so previously in the game, we only had 30 slots for friends, but now it has been increased by another 60 slots, giving us a total of 90 friends to, con uh, to add up into our game. So that's pretty awesome. I guess they're encouraging more people to try and join up the game. Um, since we have just finally passed the one year anniversary, lots of new content to the game, probably pulling in more excited Macross fans, uh, or maybe even returning Macross fans. So that's pretty fantastic. So if we tap into the costume section right now, uh, okay, maybe not here, we'll do this under the uh, Utahime tab. Alright, so you can see straight away, Costume build is locked because you need to complete your Valkyrie operation missions before you can access this. So sadly to say, I won't be accessing this yet. But you know, because I don't have any of the items that I can use to upgrade my costumes for my uh, divas as of now because I have just started doing Valkyrie operation mode. So guys, wait up for the full breakdown on costume build or basically Kiawawa rank. So guys, uh, it's not that difficult to understand. Basically, you just need to obtain the items from the Valkyrie operation missions like I've said so in the SP broadcast breakdown. You just need these orbs and the dolls to use to power up the costumes for that particular diva. So the dolls are definitely more specified to each diva itself, whichever name is there or the face is there if you are not if you can't recognize the Japanese names of the characters. Yeah, the face definitely will tell you who it is. So yeah, so um basically it will help increase the level of the rank a costume rank i guess so maybe maybe for example if mikumo's costume is stuck at um rank 3 or something then you use the doll to power up to rank 4 so that kind of thing um so that's my speculation as of now uh wait until we have the full access to the costume rank up uh, system and then we'll definitely talk about more on that itself Alright, so six star, uh, six lane gameplay, I don't have to really explain much. It's basically all shown in the um, SP broadcast itself. So there is a brand new button here. If you guys haven't touched the game yet, I'm sure most of you have with the excitement to the new update to the game. So if you touch this, you bring you to the six lane option. And of course, not all the songs will have six lanes because you need to clear... Um, certain i think you need to clear certain difficulties on the actual songs on the four lanes before you actually have access to the six lanes um option so yeah guys um so that's pretty much it for six lanes there really isn't much explanation to six lanes itself uh, unless we take a look at the question mark here so six lanes application so yeah there you go so touching the buttons will give you the change of six lanes um, then of course the rewards for six lanes are of course brand new set of stuff so you can gain more singing stones from playing six lanes as well um, of course pushing yourself a bit harder to achieve um, I would say a more excellent grade of gameplay for yourself uh, improving yourself by learning how to play six lanes and of course you know, having that sl sliding note thing that is brand new to six lanes itself. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all the <laughs> brand new information in um, the 2.0.0 .0 update for Ultra Macross. Um, yeah, like 
I said previously I have I'm going to do Gachapu so Okay, I'm gonna do the Valkyrie Operation Gachapu, which has a step up system. So the f sadly to say, for this Gacha system, um, both steps are not uh, rate up Gacha. So basically, the only step one is a discounted Gacha, where ten episode plates cost you three hundred singing stones. And out of all the episode plates inside this Gacha itself. I only need points for Gamlin's Valkyrie, which is the only Valkyrie that I currently have uh, not unlocked yet. So guys, we're gonna do one single pull of this and that's it. Because step 2 is your standard 500 singing stones for 10 episode plates with no rate up at all. So it is definitely not worthwhile to do step 2. Um, and I'm gonna use the remaining singing stones I have from the login bonus and the upcoming bonuses login as well um, to save up for the upcoming events um, gacha hopefully it is what we uh, speculate to be a uh, good job so I definitely want Ranka's good job costume um, if it's finally officially being implemented into Uta Macross and we get to see a tree the image rendering of the costume um, because we didn't really have a chance to view good job from Tokyo Sky Tree with a high definition quality. So lots of fans are still wondering you know um, what the costumes full details are like. Uh, even fans from Japan itself uh, who did view the screening at uh, Tokyo Tower uh, sorry, not Tokyo Tower, it's Tokyo Sky Tree. Um, they didn't really have a very clear high definition vi uh, video viewing because of the poor quality projection image. Um, so yeah, this coming, um, let's see, today is Monday. So this coming Wednesday, when they finally uh, broadcast um, the brand new Ultra Macross content or Akiba Akihabara, um, UDX vision screen um, we can finally find out if the next event song is good job or not so guys let's do this gacha pool I definitely want to see Gamlin and uh, yeah hopefully get some of the episode plates that belong to Gamlin's um, Valkyrie points so yeah okay let's do this one template pool and that's it one plane so as you can see, my luck for the game has been going downhill very very badly in the last few videos that I've been doing. Uh, oh yay! <laughs> I guess I got what I wanted. Um, hopefully this, this will actually give me enough points to unlock Gamlin's Valkyrie. Uh, a lot, of, yeah, a lot of max. Okay, we've got Falker. Uh, Mikael, uh, Gamlin again. So I guess we might be able to unlock Gamlin's. Here we go. No evolution, that's kind of sad. Okay, so I have a lot of secret boards for this plate, so I think it's... Oh, okay, so this is brand new. Um, so I guess this is part of the update as well. So instead of telling you what episode plates have their secret boards unlocked, so Rarity Up, basically the top here, the Japanese first box here, uh, I'm, yeah, it shows you like the episode plate evolving to 4 star. Then for these, these are all the episode plates with the secret bots unlocked. So I've got like 5 secret bots on this plate here. And of course, um, I've got 20 on this one. <laughs> which is ridiculously a lot. Alright guys, so uh, I didn't get the notification for unlocking Gamlin's Valkyrie. So I guess we are still lacking of points. So let's go find out. Um, yes, yeah, it still feels kind of weird to have one extra. I guess they're going to implement something in the future here. Um, but we have to see um, what's coming next, I guess, in maybe another six months or so. Who knows? Who knows how long the next major update will be. So let's see. Um, do I have enough points? Oh no, I'm way, way behind points on... Gamlin's Valkyrie, okay, so that's just terrible. Okay.
Alright, so we definitely need to try and unlock all, as many Valkyries as possible because we don't know. Um, we don't know if um, we will actually need specific Valkyries in the future for specific missions. Right now, you just need to have the to use a team of Valkyries um, that is related to the series itself. So maybe in the future, they might implement missions where you need that particular person and their, their, your Valkyrie to actually activate that mission. So guys, it's always good to come prepared. Um, that's all I can say. And yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have some luck with the Valkyrie operation. Um, gacha as compared to me. Um, yeah, so if if you have already unlocked all the Valkyries in um, the game, I do not recommend you pulling that gacha at all because most of the Valkyries are unlockable through events itself. Um, so it is not actually very wise to spend singing stones on um, the gacha that has a Valkyrie points um, because yeah um, you can actually easily unlock all the Valkyries um, with the episode plates from the Chaos Exchange if you guys remember the Chaos Exchange um, most of the time all the episode plates in the Chaos Exchange are related to all the Valkyries um, in the game itself so guys remember that so unlock the, um, the needed episode plates that you need the points for to unlock certain Valkyries um, from the Chaos Exchange and of course if you need to work harder in the events itself to obtain those free episode plates um, within the re events rewards so guys this is all I have for you on the quick look down on um, version 2.0.0 update for Uta Macross uh, hopefully you guys are having fun with the six lame gameplay. Uh, yeah, and until then, uh, look forward to the full breakdown of the three new gameplay for Uta Macross um, once I've gotten a chance to fully study the operating system for these um, game systems, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, bye! Okay, surprise, surprise, extra content! Anyway guys, with the clearing of a lot of the new Valkyrie Operation missions plus a lot of the new SNS chat for those Valkyrie Operations, I've managed to obtain 300 Singing Stones uh, and of course, happy birthday to uh, Chuck from Macross Delta. Thank you for the extra 25 Singing Stones, Dana. Um, yeah, with 300 singing stones, it means I can finally pull the <laughs> a beginner gacha banner that guarantees a 5 star plate. Of course, it's one of the 5 here. Um, the one that I definitely want to probably is Showtime um, because I haven't evolved that. And of course, maybe this uh, Freya plate as well. Um, of course, the rest of them are also wonderful to obtain um, because they unlock secret bots for me. So guys, we're gonna do this. Uh, it only can be pulled once, so yeah, there we go. All the plates that are inside that we want to obtain. And here we go! Hopefully we've got better luck with the beginner gacha. One, one plate. Oh no, and the bad luck continues on. What is with this bad luck streak, I tell you? <laughs> so there is our guaranteed 5 star. Um, we're gonna skip all the common ones. Lots of Freya so far. Cheryl. Reyna. Kaname. Oops, I skipped the animation, but it's fine. No evolution was there. Okay. Here we go, 5 star. Hey, so we got the fire bomber plate. Um, there we go. So I have unlocked the second secret board. So no new evolutions, 
everything is old. We have a 10. Mm, I guess this would be a plus 8 episode plate now. So not too bad. Anyway guys, that's all I have for the secret content or extra content, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, hopefully you have better luck of gacha than I do. It's been terrible um, for the last, I guess, 5 videos for gacha fools. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye again.